Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at how to create custom helper functions using Laravel 8. These are global functions, meaning they can be called on both backend, such as controllers and services, frontend blade templates and other areas as well. In just a few steps we'll implement a custom helper function whose purpose is to format an order number from this to this. So let's get started. In our Laravel project, let's create a helpers.php file under the app support namespace. To save us some time, I'll be copy and paste the code. Perfect. Now that we have our function in place, let's tell Laravel that we have added a new file that must be accessible everywhere in the project. To do this, let's open composer.json um, and inside the autoload object, create a new files array. and uh, type in the full namespace of helpers.php which is app support helpers.php great now in order for changes to take effect we have to open the console and run composer dump autoload This will start looking for all the classes and uh, files it needs to include again, our helpers.php file being one of them. In case your project has some hardcore caching in place, we can run two additional commands to clear the application and configuration caches. These are php artisan cache clear and php artisan config cache. Perfect. Now let's try our function. Let's first check if the function is working as expected on the backend side. I'm going to open my home controller file and I'm going to try and dump the function format order number with a value of 7643. I'm going to open the browser now and as you can see we have our expected value printed. Awesome. Now let's also check on the front end side. Let's delete this. I'll open home.blade.php and uh, type in our global function which is format order number with the same value as before. Now let's refresh the page and as you can see we have a desired output. Awesome! So as you can see creating a custom global helper function is a fairly a straightforward process. However, be careful not to let yourself be carried away by the illusions that helpers are a convenient way of writing good quality code, because oftentimes they are not. Uh, most of the times helper functions are used to store functionalities that you don't know where else they belong, and um, this is a sign of um, bad design. So before you create a helper function like the one we just created, ask yourself if this is the best approach for your application. That concludes today's video. I hope you now know how to create global helper functions from scratch. And if you have any feedback, let me know about it in the comment section below. I was Carl and I'll see you next time.